Now I've got to have a talk with them about our friend Lester. Okay, bye. I'm going hunting. See ya. Doing some kind of an online petition to demand, demand RJ, their little male alpaca who was born just a week or so after Indy to become her lifelong partner. Hey y'all, how are you today? I'm pretty good. It's just like pretty calm, calm, lazy-ish kind of day. You know, one of those laundry days, just cleaning house, all that kind of fun stuff. Picking up after holiday. Do you want to say, we have gotten a bunch of rain. The creek was actually um, rolling pretty, pretty good yesterday. We took some vehicles over just in case it came up, but thankfully it the rain tapered off and anyway uh the donkeys now have a little pond down here not just the donkeys but this pasture now has a, a pond down here it's become waterfront property for them which is fun but now it's just muddy so there's that but other than that it is a beautiful day it's pretty chilly windy the leaves are falling and it's just so beautiful here which you'll see All right, so there will be a couple things I'm going to address this video. <sighs> a couple things. But first, we're gonna go feed some animals, some snacks. This gate never works for me. Oh, it's a little muddy. A little muddy. It's so muddy. I really thought I could make it. It's too muddy. Dad gummit. Oh well. Well, they just got done feeding. So I'm not giving them treats because that's pointless when they're trying to eat. Babies are down there. Let's see. Here's Reba and RJ. All right. Well, this was a bad idea. I don't wear my boots. I like boots. Ralph, keep it down. Jeez. What are you doing, Copper? Hmm? What are you doing? Huh? Trying to get through the fence? <laughs> hey, Lambert. Ooh. I feel a baby right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's moving on me. Hey. Really? Why are you being mean to Steve? Hmm? Oh, yeah? What are you telling him about? Huh? I could totally feel her baby right here. Oh, jeez, Copper. Lambert, when are you gonna have this baby? It's like kicking back right here. Oh, hey, Bear. Hey, buddy. Hey, Bear. What do you think, Steve? What do you think, buddy? Is Copper being a turd? Mm. It happens. You are in the bro pen, so I'm sure testosterone can run high in here. Yeah. Oh. What is it, Isaac? Oh. I know it stinks over here. Jer, how's Jer Bear? Hmm? What do you think, Jer? I think it is Muddyville down here. Goodness. Uh -oh. 
Lambert, get away from the fence. You want to hang out with them stinky boys? All right, let's go see the other girls. Let's find Skip. See if I can feel her baby. Her babies. Where's she at? I can't see the sun. There, Skip. Skip! Oh, yeah, you can see them babies. Look at that. I bet she's got two. Look at that. <laughs> Fine, Skip. You being a good boy? All right. Well. Oh. Hey, calm down. Calm down, girls. Everybody's a little cantankerous down here today. What's going on? Uh-oh. All right, I'm going, guys. It's good seeing you. See you on the flip flop. <laughs> flip side. It's just so pretty. The sun, it's just enough overcast. It's just beautiful, peaceful. Okay, so first order of business is the merch situation. So, me and Tracy came out here the other day and we went through all the 25 boxes and we only have our crew necks and our sweatshirts in. No t-shirts yet. Hopefully, hopefully they will be here within a couple days, um, if not today. Um, yeah, hopefully they're going to be in and we'll get to launch all this stuff, relaunch on Friday. That is my goal now, is to get everything here by Friday. Um, I'm trying to get it all here so that whoever wants to make a purchase can just do it all at once instead of multiple, multiple orders. I'm really, it's just easier that way. Um, but the t-shirts are not here, unfortunately. Like I said, hopefully they will be within a couple days. And we can get all this ready to go. So, cyber sale doesn't matter what day it is, does it? Because I think we're just going to do it for Friday. Um, I will keep you posted. <laughs> this is subject to change, as you all know. And my husband just walked in. I think I'm starting a new, a new thing on my videos. A new thing? Yeah. You want to know what it is? What's Daniel done to interrupt me today? Well, that too, but fit of the day. Because you always make fun of my outfits. I mean, you're just casual and relaxed at home. I know, right? Casual farm wear with DJ. Someone commented and said that um, we should sell my outfits. <laughs> my goofy outfits. And I'm like, oh, no. If you don't want to dress to impress, buy DJs. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, here, you can show them my outfit. You like my outfit? I got my orange hat on. I'm going hunting. It's cute. It is Pensacola, cute. Florida. Yeah, I actually got this last time we were there, and I love it. And I may have to do some like this. You like the puffy? It's the puffy. It's like super puff print, and I love it. Okay. It's so soft. It's just... I'm kind of glad that I didn't have to mess with the donkeys today, because they would have got me filthy. But yep. Anyway, this is the fit. What do you mean you didn't have to mess with the donkeys? Well, they were eating, so I didn't go in there and mess with them on the video. Oh. And my clean, pretty close. Well, I told Houston that uh, it's 2.20. I told Houston that y'all could probably go hunting without me. You two, you two could go here and me and Emily go to Mill Creek. Well, so I mean, I've offered that before and you said, no, but I want to be there. Well, I was just kidding. I didn't really tell him that. So <laughs> oh, well, I was just good. trying to get a reaction. That backfired. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Okay, yeah. So anyway, this is the fit. $20.00. Sweatpants, really old tennis shoes, and a hoodie. DJ's fit of the day. My fit of the day. Okay. Okay, that's it. Now I've got to have a talk with them about our friend Lester. Okay, bye. I'm going hunting. See ya. Sorry, what did you say? I said love you. Okay, great. Love you too. Mm -hmm. 
New coffee cups. Oh, it's I'm, not in focus. There I'm a little disappointed in these coffee cups. I mean, they're not terrible, but who prints the logo that small? It is fairly tiny. Yeah. Like, oh, that's DJ Daniel's cup. Yeah, I do think it should have been bigger. It's too small. Yeah. Should have been bigger. Yeah. But I do before. like their metal. They're like what campfire ones. Yeah, I mean, they're cool cups. Yeah. They're just the logo's a little small. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So, the other day on my RJ video, Lester sent the mob to me. All in fun. Sort of, I think. Um, yes, so Lester at I'm a Survivor Sanctuary and Longhorn Lester's um, decided that he wanted his people to come tell me and my people that RJ needs to come live with Indy. So I'm going to start a campaign, Jake. I want to start a campaign. We'll start the campaign right now. I am petitioning. I'm looking for petition for everyone to ask Daniel and DJ Arms to not gift us. We don't want a gift, but find a way to send RJ to us to be a partner to that little girl right there. You know RJ, right? Oh hey, Pebbles, be sweet, girl. I would love for everyone, everyone who follows the Arm fan, Arms family, to start doing some kind of an online petition to demand, demand RJ, their little male alpaca who was born just a week or so after Indy to become her lifelong partner. That would be awesome, Jake. Well, that would be really cool. You think they will? Nope. I, I think that either. Daniel. <laughs> I don't. I think Daniel and DJ are gonna have a hard time getting rid of him. So, I'm gonna address that and I'm gonna tell you how I feel about that. I'm unsure how I feel about that, to be honest, because obviously RJ is Rufus's baby, and Rufus was a huge part of our family and our farm and our content and everything we share and he was a surprise all the things that rj is so it's hard to think about letting him go because i'm just not sure that that is what would be best for us here at our farm but in the same token he can't breed well he can only not breed one of our females because he's not related to the other ones. Well, let me take that back. He couldn't breed Reba or his mother. He couldn't breed Reba or Dolly. The others he could. Um, but we also have Jerry. And we got him for the, bought him for the purpose of breeding our females. So, with that, we don't technically need another male. And we don't want to have to get rid of Jerry. So... I'm kind of torn on that, but I still don't really want RJ to leave. But there again, we're in the pickle of we don't need to mail alpacas. So I will say, I will say this. More than likely, the only person that would be allowed to get RJ, if we let him go, would be Lester. Nobody else would get that, that opportunity. Um, First of all, I don't feel like we would trust really anyone else to take him and to raise him and care for him like we would or like Lester would. Um, I know that Lester and Jamie would do a wonderful job. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I think, I think uh, RJ and Indy would make wonderful babies and I think that it would be so awesome to get to watch RJ grow up on video. And I could go see him whenever I wanted to. I mean, Jamie and Lester will let us come there whenever. So, um, if we do decide to let him go, if and when that time comes, the only person that he would probably go to is Lester. So, don't come send me nasty messages. <laughs> um, we love RJ and he is definitely his daddy's son around here. He is such a character. I love just looking out in the backyard and just watching him run and play and aggravate. And um, I'm excited to see, you know, how he grows and his personality. 
um, develops even more as he gets older. So there is that. Um, <laughs> and um, one other thing I want to address with Lester. Only because, you know, on our end of the merch, when we had our launch, you know, we had like this little weird hiccup where we batch printed all these orders and then we found out later that some of them said they shipped or said the, you know, said the shipping label printed out, the order printed out, and then it didn't. And so a few orders didn't get filled. And obviously we messed up on a couple where, you know, someone ordered two calendars and one got one, but, and we fixed all this. Um, that's just little things here and there. When you've got over 1500 orders, you're going to have probably, you know, 20 or so to fix a few mess ups, especially when we had kids working in there too, teenagers. Um, so, um, I sent Lester and Jamie some merch and that guy, that guy <laughs> had me thinking I messed up, not even his order because he didn't order anything. I just sent him some stuff, sent him some stuff. And so then I'm watching the video and I'm like, I know I didn't send him the wrong size. <laughs> I checked that like three times. <laughs> and so I text Jamie and I'm like, did I literally send Lester the wrong size? Let me put this on. Let me put this on for you all. And I have a shirt also. Hold up. 2X. 2X. A Daniel. Is that some kind of a joke? Why is this guy going to send me a 2X? Uh. I did not send you the wrong size. Gosh. Uh. No. I did not think you needed a 2X because I did not send you a 2X. Crazy guy. Okay, so those are all the things that I wanted to address in this video. Um, sorry about the fact that we're not going to have all of our stuff on the website today. I hate that. Um, we have most of it ready to go. I mean, we're literally just waiting on t-shirts. So hopefully those will be in soon, guys. I hate the delays. I'd rather just get it all here and get it out so you all can have it. Um, so I'm sorry. I'm doing, I am literally doing my best. And I was really hoping to get it all out before Emily's basketball starts this week. And our lives are going to get a little bit more hectic. <laughs> but that's okay because it is my favorite season. I love basketball season. <laughs> Song of the video. I don't know if y'all have watched this movie like in the last, I don't know, 10, 20 years, but I watched it not too long ago and it's one of my favorites. Y'all should pull it up and watch it if you have the ability uh, because it's such a great movie. Armageddon, such a great movie, um, which is, it's not movie of the video. It is song of the video, but I love Aerosmith. So, y'all go listen to Come Together. It was on that movie, and I love that song. Um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. Oh, got some more laundry to do, some more cleaning, all the fun things. Might have to eat some more of that carrot cake that's almost gone. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, do your best.